It's snowing. Ugh. Ugh. Hello, everybody on YouTube and all the NFL YouTube prognosticators and NFL fans everywhere. This is Andrew Warren, back here once again, giving you my Week 12 picks for the NFL season and Week 13 of the 2018 and 2019 NCAA football picks. Hope you enjoy. Last week, straight up, I went 4-8. and eight. That was pretty bad. And straight up, 6-7. and seven. Both of them below 500. We're going to forget that week. That was pretty much a bad week. And I'm sure everyone else had pretty much a bad week this week, too. So, hey, you can you have some good weeks. You got some bad weeks. What are you going to do? My thoughts about week 11. Well, week 11, Seattle um, taking on uh, Green Bay, though, in Seattle. Seattle got the win out of that. Atlanta uh, losing to Dallas by a field goal. Carolina losing Detroit by one. Yeah, and Indianapolis beating Tennessee and pounded them like 38 to 10. And up, and the Giants beating the uh, Buccaneers, which is I think Fitz Magic's gone again. Eh, who would thunk? And Houston coming back to beat Washington, and Pittsburgh coming back beating Jacksonville. Then of course Baltimore, not uh, losing to Cincinnati, which is pretty bad. I think AJ um, Green is out again. So I and last I checked and. Um, Oh, God, what's his name? The other Heisman Trophy um, candidate um, from Baltimore, who they picked up to get the draft pick this past year. So, he's in. So, Lamar Jackson. Excuse me, I had to look that up. So, yeah, Lamar Jackson getting the start, and look, look, he pulled off the win. Maybe Joe Flacco's done. I don't know. But we'll have to wait and see about that. Maybe a quarterback controversy's coming up. Now, Arizona... Um, uh, Oakland beating Arizona. Oakland got their first win in a while, in a couple months maybe. And upset of the week, Denver beating um, the Chargers. But you no, know, at the end of it, we got it really well. New Orleans pounding on Philadelphia, who um, and now Philadelphia's at a case of they lose this week, they could pretty much pack it up. Chicago beat Minnesota, which Minnesota almost came back and won it, which turned out to be a good game. But the Monday Nighter was the game of the week, no doubt about it. The Rams um, in the Chiefs threw it back and forth, back and forth. It was like, like a quarterback duel going on. Patrick Mahomes versus Jared Goff. It was unreal. And altogether, they put up 105 points combined together on that. Wow. I mean, this is a team, if you don't like defense, this is a game for you, pretty much. If you just like all offense, this is it. So, yeah, I mean, there was no other way. At one point, though, it was a... 37 to 20 um the Rams are then all of us no 37 23 I take it back it's something like that but anyways Kansas City came back and came back strong and won with tied made it 41 37 then of course so um of course that the Rams would came back and got a few um touchdowns from there like at 47 or something 47 to I don't know maybe 47 to 43 or something 40 47 to 54 or something like that. Then all of a sudden, the Kansas City got a 51 47, and the Rams went to, went for the go ahead touchdown and think something like that, which is probably the bet. I my, my, no doubt about it. In my mind, game of the year on this one, no doubt about it. I don't know how you guys agree on that. That game, game of the year of the week. There is no doubt about that. No doubt. All right, we're gonna kick things off on the Thanksgiving. Day we uh, game. So hold on, here we go. Chicago and Detroit though. Detroit both both in Chicago and Detroit coming in with the win this past week. Detroit winning beating winning by one. Chicago um making it out of there alive, beating on um, the Minnesota Vikings by five. So anyways, um uh, coming into this game though, Mitch Davichki and the Bears. They're coming out strong now. They, I think Mitch Davich is coming to his first Thanksgiving Day game. So this is pretty exciting for him, being in the national spotlight. So this would be a good test for him. But they're playing their division rivals, the Detroit Lions. The Lions are coming in. Like, try, I think at this point, the Lions, I think they're just going to pack it in. Try to fight for a better draft pick or something. So I think that's what they need to do. Defensively, Detroit is just horrible. I mean, horrible defense. I mean, they showed up early in the year, and they just kind of lost hope on that. I mean, that's how I feel about Detroit right now. So Mitch Trubisky and the Bears are very impressive. Here's what I got to say about that. Bears are going to win this game. I like the Bears straight up in this game at 
in Detroit against the Detroit Lions on Thanksgiving. On the line, though, the I believe though the Detroit, I mean Chicago's went uh, favorite by four in this game. That's good amount. I like that. I like Detroit. I mean, I'm um, Chicago minus four. Excuse me on that one. Now the other Thanksgiving Day game: Dallas and Washington. Now Dallas coming in this game, like trying to get hope for ourselves. Washington, yeah, trying to get trying to get a little hope now that Alex Smith is hurt and they lose by a point against Detroit, which I think it was Detroit that Washington I just played. I mean, I just mentioned that. But anyways, um, Dallas, I'm looking for some answers, seeing what's going on. But, uh, Ezekiel Elliott, yeah, yeah, Dirk Prescott, maybe this could be it, though. This could, this could be the opening that they need to help win a game. Maybe this is it. I like Dallas over the Washington Redskins. By the way, though, the Red, the Washington Redskins starting quarterback this week, Mr. Butt Fumble. Yep, this week is, I believe, is the sixth anniversary of that. That Matt, that uh, Mark Sanchez did the butt fumble. It was on Thanksgiving Day game against my Patriots. Just saying, but on the line, though, nevertheless, though, I'll give the Redskins this. The Cowboys are favored by eight and a half in this game. Way too many points to, for this one. Even if you like um, doubt the Redskins to win. Take the take the Redskins in this game anyway. I like the Re I like um, Washington plus eight and a half. All right, New Orleans and Atlanta. Ooh, Atlanta's coming in very strong. You know, you know Atlanta's coming up a talk now that they're in the tough scene. The Red Hot you know, New Orleans Saints. This could be a good battle in this game, but it's a battle of the division. This game, I think this is going to be a back and forth game. This could be a close game. Matt Ryan may put up some good numbers. Drew Brees may put up some good numbers. Hmm. It all comes down to the running game. That's what the Saints have. And I think that's the way that I'm going to go. I'm going to go with the Saints winning this game. I like the Saints over the Atlanta Falcons in New Orleans. On the line, though, the um, New Orleans is favored by 13.5 in this game. Ooh, that's way too many points for me. I think this is going to be a close game. I think this is going to be a, um, a coin flip. Not a coin flip. I think it's going to be like a 7-point spread, I think, or something. If it's a 7-point spread, I will take the Saints side of that. But um, I like the um, Atlanta Falcons plus 13 and a half. Jacksonville and Buffalo. Okay, this is a must-win situation for Buffalo. I mean Jacksonville. If they um, if Jacksonville put up the win in this game, I think they'll can fight for the playoff chances on this one, which I think they will. Buffalo, I think they're just gonna tank it in for the year. And I think they're gonna call it a season. I like Jacksonville over Buffalo. On the line though, who is it? Yeah. On the line, though, um, the ja Jacksonville is favored by three in this game. That's a good amount. I like that. I like Jacksonville minus three. Now we go to the Battle of Ohio. The ba and plus, you could say Battle of the Basement, you could say, because the uh, Cincinnati Bengals and the Cleveland Browns. Eh, Baker Mayfield, really, really decent. Now, Cincinnati. Ugh. I wonder. When are they going to fire Marvin Lewis? I mean, he should have been fired four years ago, maybe five years ago, and yet he's still in the head coach in Cincinnati. He's been there for, I don't know, 15 years now. What the hell has he done? 0-6 in the playoffs. I'm like, it matches Jim Moore's record for the Saints. I mean, if you can't win in the playoffs, you mean they just let him go, for God's sakes. But anyways, ugh. I don't know about this one game. Offensively, Cleveland's much better. Defensively, I'd probably say Cleveland in this game in this case too. I mean Cleveland's defense is not as bad though. Cincinnati, yeah, yeah. But anyways, nevertheless though, I like Cleveland as an upset to pick over the Cincinnati Bengals in Cincinnati. On the line though, Cleveland is favored by three in this game. And I'm gonna take Cleveland minus three. And if if Cleveland wins and Cincinnati loses, Marvin Lewis better go. And if he doesn't, if he doesn't, if if he doesn't, if Marvin Lewis stays, there's no hope for Cincinnati. There's no hope whatsoever. I'm just putting it that way. Just saying. Okay, um, let's go to my New England Patriots against the um, against the New York Jets. All right, here we go. Well, the New York Jets and the New England Patriots. The New England Patriots are coming off a of bye week. My New England Patriots, who are pretty well rested. Rob Gronkowski may be coming back. We got, 
We may have some of our stuff and our team coming back in, in there. Rob Gronkowski is going to play. His back, his ankles looks looking okay. So we'll see how that one turns out as we go on during the week. So in in the meantime, the New York Jets and they're going to travel to New York though. The New York Jets look like they're going to pack it in and two. They look that's kind of a team unless they something something crazy happens. You never know. But I don't know about the New York Jets. You know, I mean, at this point, you know. One of your players is hurt. You've been, you're saying you're you're um, you're fine. All of a sudden, you're saying you don't not play this week, not play yet, not practice yesterday. What the hell is the point? You're saying your own, your foot's fine. But anyways, all that being said, though, my New England Patriots, Tom Brady, Rob Gronkowski, Bill Hoodie, Bill Belichick, we're all they're gonna win this game. We're all gonna win. That on the line though, the New York. I mean the. The New England Patriots are favored by 10.5 in this game. That's a pretty decent amount. I like that. I like the New England Patriots um, minus 10.5. And, and for all you Jets fans, hoodie. <laughs> Bill Belichick in <and> his hoodie. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Woohoo. <laughs> I like to have a little fun. That's why. All right, though. On, um, going to um, the, the rivalry, the greatest rivalry in the NFL, Giants and Eagles in Philadelphia. Philadelphia is at that point that they need to win or it's done. It's plain and simple. Philadelphia needs to win or just fight for a playoff or a good, good, um, just a good player in the draft. That's all they need to do. But if they can't do that with the Giants, pack it in. That's all. But anyways, I don't think that's going to happen. I think Philadelphia is going to win this game. I mean, if the New York Giants win, that's it. That's it for Philadelphia. Fight for the playoff spot. Let Dallas get the division. But... Nevertheless, I like um, Carson Wentz and the Eagles against the um, the New York Giants in this game in Philadelphia. On the line, though, the Eagles are favored by seven in this game. That's way too many points for me. Way too many points. I like the uh, New York Giants plus seven. All right, here we go. That um, The Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the San Francisco 49ers. Now, Winston is going to play this week for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, Fitz Magic, no, no good, out of Magic. So, anyways, uh, in this game, I always see it though. This is a battle of bad teams. Just really, Winston's just a bad quarterback. Nobody in San Francisco. Jimmy Garoppolo still hurt, done for the year. But this is kind of they're gonna fight for a better playoff, better player. I think I would suggest. But anyways, I like. I like the San Francisco 49ers going to Tampa Bay to beat the Bucks in this game. So I like Tampa Bay over it. So I like San Francisco over in Atlanta. On the line, though, the um, Buccaneers are favored by uh, three in this game. I like the 49ers to win, though. I like the 49ers plus three and a half in an upset pick. All right, though. Um, Carolina and Seattle. Carolina... Uh, Carolina should be comfortable playing in, in at home. They're not traveling to Seattle, which I think if they did, I would have picked going the other way with this. Cam Newton and the Panthers trying to find an answer for trying to find an answer to this early on in the year to fight for a playoff spot. So, anyways, I like Carolina in this game against the Seattle Seahawks. On the line though, in Phil Carolina in Carolina is a favorite by three in this game. Pretty decent amount. I like that. I like Carolina minus three. The Baltimore Ravens and the Oakland Raiders. Okay, though this is an interesting pick on this one. I like the uh, let's get how this going on is Lamar Jackson could be the starting quarterback. We don't know. Maybe um, Joe Flacco has lost his position as quarterback. I don't know. But anyways, what whatever's going on, I think Baltimore's going to win this game. Of Oakland, I can't see Oakland doing anything. They're probably going to be the number one seed in the draft, maybe. So, I like the Baltimore Ravens in Baltimore to beat the Oakland Raiders. On the line, though, that the, the uh, Baltimore Ravens are favored by 12 in this game all of a sudden. It was an off pick. Now, all of a sudden, is a 12. Yeah, they're favored by 12 in this game. Why not? I'll take it. I like the Baltimore Ravens, minus 12. Okay, let's go to um, to the um, L.A. Chargers in the, in the Arizona Cardinals. The Chargers are coming home against the Arizona Cardinals. As they just bounce around. But anyways. The, LA is feeling really. Feeling uh, icky right now. After the they lost to the uh, Denver Broncos. Their division rival. 
But, and uh, now all of a sudden they get to play Arizona at home, which should be okay with. So anyways, um, coming in this game, though, Arizona fighting for a division spot at this point, too. So the, the um, L.A. Chargers are going to win this game, I think. They're going to try to fight for a playoff spot. I like the Chargers over the Arizona Cardinals in L.A. On the line, though, the um, Arizona, the um, Chargers are favored by 13 in this game. You know, why not? I mean, I think that I, I think they can cover that. So, I think the um, L.A. Chargers are going to take the points of minus 13. Pittsburgh and Denver. Now, Pittsburgh at this game at this point they're playing going to mile high. Now that that's a tough place to play, you know, with all the atmosphere and the weather going down and in Denver. But the Denver Broncos aren't really having the best year, year either. So, I think this is a game for Pittsburgh. If it's a must-win game for Pittsburgh, this is it. So, I don't know. I think um, Pittsburgh may win this game. I don't see Denver being a, being not, nothing in this game. I don't know what Denver's going to do. So, I like the Pittsburgh Steelers going to Denver to beat the Denver Broncos. On the line, though, that the Pittsburgh Steelers are favored by three in this game. Pretty good. I like that. I like the Pittsburgh Steelers minus three. All right, though, going in the Indianapolis Colts at home against the Miami Dolphins. The uh, my the Dolph the Indianapolis Colts of this game going into this game for the Dolph the Colts though they should be happy they're going to do something they should be really happy you know going in and say yeah let's do it now that now the Dolphins are here to fight for a playoff spot I think they have a shot at that I think so let's see how they go rolling in so I'm like okay okay so so at this point the um, Miami Dolphins are at that stage like they need to do something you know. Try to get fight for a playoff spot. They need to get in. I don't know how that's gonna work, but anyways, though, uh, I think this is gonna be a close game. I really think so. But the Andrew Luck and the Colts. Andrew Luck's having a good year, not the Colts. But I like the Dolphins going to Indianapolis to beat the and hang a loss for the Colts. On the line though, that the um, Colts are favorite. I mean, the Colts are favorite by ten and a half in this game. You know how I, I mean, um, no, no, I'm sorry, I, I picked um, Pittsburgh, I, I mean, I picked the Colts, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I picked the Colts, not my, Miami, I, I apologize. I take the Indianapolis Colts, taking the win in Indianapolis against Miami, excuse me, it's not the Do Dolphins beating the Colts, excuse me, but on the line, though, the, the, uh, Col the Colts are favored by 10 in this game, yeah, it's decent, I like that, I mean, I like the, um, Col the Indianapolis Colts winning by 10 in this game, and, and so I like... The Colts straight up to win, and I like the Colts minus ten and a half. Sunday night football: the the Minnesota Vikings are going home as they face Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. So this is kind of a weary year for the for Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. So they're kind of like eh, fighting for a playoff spot and trying to fight the Chicago Bears to get the NFC North. So they got to pray for the um, Lions to win. I don't know if I see that anyways, but anyways, Green Bay at this point they need. They have um, some hope left. That's all they need to do. They beat. They go to win at Minnesota, which I believe that Minnes the Green Bay may do that. So I like the pack. Aaron Rodgers and the Packers beating the Minnesota Vikings on Sunday Night Football. On the line though, the um, the the Minnesota Vikings are favored by three in this game. I'm gonna take the the Green Bay Packers side. I like I like Green Bay to win. I like Green Bay against the spread. I like Green Bay plus three. So, so I got Green Bay in an upset in this one, too. So, the last game of the week, the Monday Night Football game. The Houston, the Houston, I was going to say Astros, but that's a baseball team. Houston Texans against the Tennessee Titans. So, I'll say this. If you are really hyped about this game, about last week with the Chiefs and the Rams, oh, God, I think you are not getting any hopes up on this one. You will not get your hopes up on this one. I... And this game is going to be a low scoring, I think. It's going to be like, yeah, a, like a tight game. I see that. I I see uh, Marcus Mariota and uh, Deshaun Watson yeah, try to get a low point spread. This is going to come down to defense on this one. Both teams have really good defense, I think. Mariota, you know, really good quarterback. Uh, Deshaun Watson, very decent quarterback. I think the winner of this game might get the division, I think. I think the winner of that will get it. So, anyways, no. If Tennessee wins, I think Tennessee will open the door to anybody who wins it. Just saying. But if Houston wins, I think they've got the division. 
they're, they're on the edge of winning that division, I say it. But anyways, I, that, that's the way I hope. I think Houston's going to win it. That I think Houston is going to, at home, going to beat the Tennessee Titans. On the line, though, the it, I think that's an off game, I think. I think that's a pick'em game. So I, I believe so. So last night, I thought it was like a... Let me, let me say, I, excuse me. I, whoa, 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 wrong one. Let me see. Oh, here we go. It, oh, no, no. Here we go. Here we go. And it is... Yep, yeah, it's a pick'em game, I thought. That's what I thought. Anyways, 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 anyways. Anyways, um... Yeah, I thought I saw five in, five in, that, in that area, but uh, I could be wrong. So, yeah, I thought I, it says off, so... Hmm. Well, anyways, no matter what the outcome is, it's a pick'em game, take Houston to win, though. But anyway, if that was a five-point spread, though, I'll take Tennessee side of that. Just saying, I don't think it's going to be a five-point spread on that, so... Anyways, pick'em game, pick Houston. And it's a uh, over five. If it's five points or more, take Tennessee. Just saying. But anyways, as of now, I'm gonna take um, Houston and to pick them. Some ways that that changes tomorrow, I'll change that. But it, you never know. You know, I'll take that. I'll take Houston against the spread. All right, that'll wrap up my picks for the week. Now, stay tuned for my week 13 NCAA football picks. Here it is. All right, last week. Um, I went 4-0 and straight up, and 2-2 two and two against the spread, you could say. Because I lost to um, Alabama and Centennial in that game with the spread. I thought that was going to be an, a clobber knocker game in that game. And, of course, you got uh, Michigan. Um, I got Michigan losing that. Losing, I got Michigan minus 27 against Indiana. Nah, they beat out Michigan by 11 in that game. So, anyways, um, Notre Dame um, beat Syracuse. And I got the spread pick on that one, and of course you, got, I got Clemson and and Duke, uh, Clemson beating Duke, and just beating the spread by one point in that game. That was pretty incredible. So, anyways, now it's week thirteen. We have our we may get our playoff uh, spots clutched, uh, clutched uh, wrapped up here, starting with the Notre Dame pick. Now um, Notre Dame, um, if they win this game, they possibly they may wrap up the um, playoff spot for three, uh, two, four, whatever. But no matter what. What it is, if they beat USC, they're in the playoffs, most likely. But anyways, um, Notre Dame, I think they're gonna they're traveling to USC this week. It's a, a one of the tough places to play, which I think it, they're gonna win win this game straight straight up in this game. I like their hopes on that USC. Yeah, USC is not the same team as they were and as they as they were in the two thousands. But anyway, Notre Dame in this game, I like Notre Dame over UFC in UFC. On the line though. Uh, Notre Dame's favored by 10 in this game. Ugh. I can't take that. I think that's going to be a low-scoring game. It's going to be a close game. Notre Dame, USC always plays Notre Dame tough. My no fighting Irish, uh, I should say, because I like Notre Dame. So anyways, I think USC is going to take the, going to beat out the spread in this one. I like USC, plus 10 and a half. Alabama, number one, over um, yeah, in Auburn, in Alabama. This is going to be a good game to watch. I think this is going to be a back and forth game. I think it's going to be a tight game, though. I don't really see a blowout on this game. So, anyways, though, I think Alabama's going to win this game, but not by um, by 24. This is going to be a straight up game. It's going to be a top, like a back and forth game. This could be a 10 point spread or something like that. It could be lower than that. But I like Alabama over Auburn. On the line, though. Auburn, like I said, is favored by 24 in this. I mean, Alabama is favored by 24 in this game. Too many points. I can't do that. SCT, SCT teams are really close. They play games really tight like that. I can't do it. I like Auburn plus 24. All right, though, Michigan and Ohio State. Uh, Michigan, um, that's going to be a toss-up, a big rivalry game right there. Jim Harbaugh isn't you know, doing really well in Michigan. I think this isn't going to continue the spread for that. I think this is gonna, it's going to be a close game. So I like Michigan over Ohio State. On the line, though, Michigan is favored by four in this game. I like Michigan minus four. And, of course, the last but certainly not the least, Clemson and South Carolina Gamecocks. So, anyway, Clemson is in the is in a position, though. They win this, they go to the ACC Championship. Same thing with um, Alabama and, and Michigan. If they win this, they go to the um, their conference championships in this game. So... Clemson, uh, if they win this, they go. They're in. So in the championship game. So we'll see how that one turns out. 
But anyways, Michigan, I think this is a game that Clemson's going to win. I like Clemson over South Carolina. On the line, though, the, um, I think uh, Clemson is um, favored by 25 in this game. I like South Carolina Gamecocks plus 10, 25. It could be a, a tight game on this one. So, that will wrap up my picks of the week. So, um, big shout-out this week is Matt, the NFL fanatic. You can check him out. He's a really good guy, really good prognosticator, makes really good, makes great videos. If you like um, like to give all the great great games and explanations, definitely check him out. He's really good. Until then, and this is Andrew Warren signing off. Sorry about the um, guest pick. You know, I've been really busy with work and Thanksgiving and school. So I'll try to get something in after around after that. Maybe. I, I can't promise you, but I'll definitely try. But, but other than that, in the United States, happy Thanksgiving. And good luck on Black Friday. You never know about all these sweet deals in there. You may get it. You may not. I don't know. And, and good luck on um, Cyber Monday, too. So just saying, just, uh, just have a great Thanksgiving. And good luck on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. This is Andrew Warren signing off. And enjoy lots of turkey. And, and rock out.